What's up, everybody? It's Randy Rage here with a little bit of the Nation's Cup from Gran Turismo 7. I did start on the poll, and um, I don't like starting on the poll. I've only done it like three or four times. I'm not very good, and I always make a mistake within one of the first turns, which, as you see, I have uh, I've done it. <laughs> like every time. I don't know. This is it. I guess because I'm newer and I just get nervous and I don't know if you guys have the same problem or not, but, uh, yeah, so that was a disastrous start for being on the poll. Um, I guess we're going to watch it again because why not? And then I panicked and I just like went right out on the course, which, you know, you shouldn't do. Thankfully there's a ghost, which that way it didn't affect everyone else's, uh, trip, but so quickly from, uh, first to sixth, that's, that's all good. Um, I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but like right there, a little bit of uh, jittery lags and, and stuff going on, especially with these Nation Cup races. It seems like it'll go where everyone has good ping to like the worst ping possible. And it's always at inconvenient times when you're turning, it seems. I don't know, but here we are just uh, trying to make our way back. Um, yeah, here's another part where it got a little crazy. And then I've dropped to 7th as well. I, I don't remember when. I I kind of, like, butchered the, the recording. But anyways, uh, so this is my one and only attempt. I, I Like I said, I did qualify for the poll. I was at, like, 146.8, I think, which is not the fastest lap I had done. I was able to do 145 in practice, but um, I found the the day of the event when I was doing some practice, I kept screwing up the chicane and decided to, to take it a little bit slower, and, and I don't know if that affected my time or if I'm just terrible. Uh, probably a bit of both, um, but I don't know. It, it seemed to help me, and as the race goes on, I think you'll see that it helped quite a bit for me um so we've, we've managed to get back up into sixth place again um just kind of holding on just following everybody and waiting for people to make mistakes is kind of my plan at this point um as you see here we got, we got another bit of uh scuffling going on and we've managed to take two so now we're at third um i kind of like to watch these things again so it was nice uh Nice maneuver by me to play it safe, right? We'll, we'll say that's what it was. Uh, so, how, how's everyone been doing so far in the Nations Cup anyways? I feel like I've been getting better. I've had uh, the last two before this event. I did finish um, second, which I really felt good about. And so, going into this one, I, I felt good, but I did just upgrade it to a load cell pedal. And is way too stiff for what I was used to and I was really struggling with my braking um, so I did put in a lot of practice on this track um, maybe like 30 or 40 laps which is way more than I usually do for these uh, I probably should do a lot more than that because I I am not very good but I am only a c-rated driver at the moment and uh, 30 or 40 laps has seemed to really give me a leg up on um, other people so and then here we got another person that hit the wall that's why I, th I think it was best to just take it slow especially early in the day I was watching some people streaming and and I really felt like um, just being able to survive through that chicane was going to pay off huge I, if I remember right I think this lap um, sketchy sets a 147.268 and I've I was 0.269, so that was the closest I got to uh, setting fast lap. Um, I never got down in the 146s like I did in, in uh, qualifying. I'm not sure why. Just uh, never really got much better than 147. So. As I was kind of uh, following sketchy here, I noticed that I was faster in some sections and I was hoping that that would kind of pay off a bit. I 
but then uh, of course we get hit with another lag spike which is I, th I believe right about here is where it, it really um, happens so we're coming down this little hill here and and it looks like to me sketchy just goes straight into the wall and I'm confused I am confused because that's not even the spot <laughs> Wow I guess we're gonna follow sketchy for a few more laps my bad and one one area in this track I really struggle with is this turn I I just felt like I was never really able to get a good line through it um, especially DOG who's leading the race right now this going into the straight they would always pull away from me because I just could not figure it out but coming into this turn I, I felt pretty good about it at like here I'm really catching up to sketchy uh, going into this next part at least the people I was racing against, it seemed like a lot of them were lifting off a little bit. And that was definitely in my advantage. But then you come into that next turn, and I wasn't the greatest at that turn. So it kind of was a wash, really. And then going through this section, uh, I, f I felt like I had good pace. And here I'm kind of being held up by Sketchy because it, I didn't really have a good spot to try to make a pass. I kind of tried to swoop over here, but you know, they did the right thing and they, they came over and kind of blocked that. But then, uh, of course, we get hit with the, the lag spike and it threw me off. I don't know. My car was not stopping. Um, I, I felt like all that work I had done just got threw away because I had been catching up to Sketchy again. And, and then you see they go through the corner fine. But uh, the chicane had other things to say about that. So you go through here and uh, it strikes again. <laughs> See, is sometimes being slow and steady, you know, might win you the race. So, so we've made it back up to P2. Uh, let's see. So we dropped, we started at one, dropped all the way to seven and have managed to get back up to two. Now, this is going into lap, the start of lap five here. Um, I think I was about four and a half seconds behind uh, the leader at this this time. And so I'm, I'm really pushing for a bit here, trying to, to catch up to them. And it, it kind of went back and forth. Like I'd make a little bit of ground and then I'd kind of lose it. Um, but I wasn't really making significant strides. Uh, so as we, as we fast forward, um, what I decided to do around lap, um, eight, I think it was, I decided to, to take some of the turns a little bit slower, uh, and try to save a little bit of tires because I thought, you know, maybe it could pay off at the end because this was a C ranking so we didn't have to pit but you know by the end your tires could be pretty toasted so i th i think it paid off because right around this lap i all of a sudden started getting a lot closer i, I think maybe a little bit before like in lap 12 I don't, I don't remember exactly but i was really starting to to gain on uh, DOG and and I thought you know what maybe maybe I have better tires because I hadn't really changed but I did get a little bit more aggressive because of the fact that I was I was catching so I think it was was smart it, I didn't really think it was gonna pay off I thought it would just help me so I didn't spin out at the end and like end up dropping to third or fourth or something uh, I think I had 10 to 15 seconds. I think it was like 15 seconds maybe uh, to third place. Uh, so I had a significant lead over them. And now here's where uh, DOG 
and apologies if you're watching DOG if I'm saying that wrong. I do not know how you say it. I am terrible with names. But I think that turn was the one that really made this race harder for me because it's going into the straight and I just could not uh, gain ground most of the time. But see, then we go through these turns here. I, I feel I feel like it's it's happening. You know, we're really we're we're getting there. So I'm feeling confident, and uh, then this happens. <laughs> I have no idea how I did not hit them. How I did not spin out. Um, I don't know. I don't even know why it launched it up like that. I I sure I hit that that corner at that angle before I'm not sure what happened but things got super crazy and I I started to panic and I just like tried to keep it on the road and uh, and hit the brakes and luckily I was able to just miss running into them because that for sure would have lost me the race I would not have been able to win it but we did it we survived that corner and then it was just about uh, trying to make up the ground that we just lost because we did drop back down a second or two when that happened but at this point I, I did feel like I had the better tires and I started just driving like normal pretty much you know taking it a little bit slower because I knew that the front left was was pretty shot but I, I didn't feel like it was slipping out on me too much so I just pretty much just kept going and I think I think it's right here where we finally um, are able to succeed now I did start stopping a little late and it kind of paid off because I got like a good run here um, I was able to kind of diamond the turn and really give it full bore going into the straight and I was very happy I was like great now I'm gonna screw up <laughs> but I was able to to take it and uh, drive the rest of the way without screwing up and held the lead for for one lap basically basically because <laughs> I did not hold it for more than uh, what a turn at the beginning it was it was a lot of fun uh dog was driving a great race and I, I think that they just pushed their tires a little bit too much compared to what i did in a couple of those middle laps um let me know what you think in the comments about the video i'm, I'm still trying to figure out a good format for this i do plan to make more content Related Gran Turismo, including some streaming. Uh, I used to stream some other games a while ago, and I think I'm going to be streaming some sim racing. I, I recently built a sim rig, and uh, I love it. I, I think I'm addicted. I've already upgraded some, and uh, with the wife's approval, so we're, we're good. <laughs> but, um, I know there's a lot of work that can be done. Uh, I definitely... I'm not an expert at video editing or anything like that, and I need to improve, I'm sure. But I don't really know if someone would rather watch the whole race or have like snippets where it just gets to the good stuff because there was, you know, five, eight laps where it was nothing going on. Anyways, let me know in the comments how you feel. Like and subscribe if you if you would. I would appreciate it. And, uh, Thanks for tasting the rage. You can do that.